What is happening guys, Mike from Hammer Fitness here and today's topic I wanted to talk to you guys about how to get your metabolism sky high. All right, there's multiple and multiple ways to get your metabolism skyrocketed, but today I just wanna break it down and just talk to you how to do that just with food. All right, pretty handy because you're already eating every single day. Now, how are we going to pretty much tweak our day so that our metabolism is high just from changing the way we eat? I want you to think of your metabolism kind of like a fire, all right? And you've got your food, or AKA the firewood, sitting beside it. Now, you've got a day's worth of firewood sitting there. What you wanna do is pretty much put the firewood on as the day goes, all right? So little bit by little bit, and that's gonna keep your metabolism or fire nice and steady, all right? What's gonna happen is if you chuck on too much at once, that fire is gonna pretty much diminish for a little bit and then come back up again, all right? So it doesn't mean that it's gonna be any more beneficial, it just means that there's pretty much time wasted where the temperature could have been a bit higher or your metabolism could have been a little bit higher. So the body works that way because if you give it too much nutrients at once, it actually can't process it all at once. You're actually hindering yourself and it's more like, it's more almost like doing a training session because when you eat, your body has to actually work to break down that food. All right, so it's using energy. And if you give it a crap load at once, you're going to be burning more energy. All right, and it may even make you feel a bit sluggish. So what we wanna do to avoid this, I've got for you in three simple steps. Nice and easy. All right, so obviously plan your diet so that the macronutrients and calories are nice and even all the way through the day. All right, so you've got an even balance of uh, carbs, fats, and protein, and the calories are around about the same almost every single meal. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to do because your morning tea maybe only consists of 10 to maybe 15 minutes and you can literally only fit in those, let's say nuts and protein shake or something like that. But this is where you gotta make it work for you. You wanna try aim for those six meals a day. Now I hear a lot of people, uh, they only eat twice a day or three times a day. Now how's your body supposed to pretty much keep its metabolism up if you're only sporadically giving it food every now and again? Now it's pretty much the worst way to keep your nutrition intake high and it's also the worst way to keep your metabolism high. So by doing this, you pretty much, the best way ever is just to graze all day. All right, but a standard is six meals. I go off anywhere between six to eight meals. All right, so I pretty much eat at 6 a.m., 9 a.m., 12 p.m., 3 p.m., 6 p.m., and again at 9 p.m. before I go to bed. Now, because I'm cutting at the moment of this log, I'm doing a carb cycle, so I'll pretty much lower my carbs towards the end of the day. Majority of my carbs are at the start of the day. Now, this may be what you want to do if you're cutting. Now, if you're on a maintenance diet or a bulk, uh, maybe even just even it out all the way through. Obviously still keep the carbohydrates nice and low, all right? You never really wanna spike your insulin levels too high anyway. So that was one. Keep an even macronutrient and calorie breakdown across the day. Pretty much just build your diet to the way it's gonna work for you. And even like I said before, if you have to have that uh, nuts and maybe shake at morning tea, then so be it. But if you've got facilities like me, I pretty much eat meat uh, and fats and a little bit of carbs almost every meal, except for at night time. But if you could do that, it'd be even better. Number two is pick your times. All right, this way you're almost scheduling yourself when to eat. Now, if you're like a lot of other people and you pretty much sporadically eat or you just eat when you're hungry, because I get this question all the time, but Mike, what if I'm not hungry? Well, maybe that's because your body is used to that, all right? So you need to get the gear cranking into boosting your metabolism with your diet, all right? So whatever you give your diet or whatever you have been doing in the past, your body's actually going to get used to that, all right? So your body's a very, very smart survival uh, machine, all right? So if you give it one meal a day, it's gonna figure out how to survive off that one meal. If you give it six, well, it's gonna love it and it's still gonna be able to survive off that, all right? But that's what your body wants. You want a nice, even, sustained energy level intake. And last but not least, number Number three, all right, it pretty much goes alongside timing when you're gonna have the meals. Set an alarm, okay? 
I got it in my phone pretty much eat. Uh, if you know me, I definitely would not miss a meal. So uh, I very rarely need the alarm because I'm pretty much counting down the minutes, if not seconds to my next meal. But I do definitely try to stay on track. So like I said before, the 6 a.m., 9 a.m., 12 p.m., so on. But if you're very forgetful and maybe even a, it may come down to a very busy, hectic day at work and you're just pumping away the work and next thing you know, five hours goes by and you still haven't eaten and you're wondering why you're feeling hungry well you missed your meal i think this is a great way or reason why you should set an alarm just in case you want to pretty much keep your metabolism going for so many reasons but more so in our case we want the biggest or highest chance of nutrient uptake and we want to keep our metabolism sky high all right by doing this we're going to be able to burn the most amount of fat and get the most efficiency out of our body when cutting or maintaining or whenever all right i hope that helps guys if you got any other questions please feel free to ask but be a grazer and kill it all right i'll see you guys in the next video